gentlemen, and as always, thank you for watching. Uh, first of all, I've been having problems with a specific type of microphone that I've been using, uh, an external microphone, so tonight I'm trying a new one. This is the first time, first video with the new microphone, uh, so this will be a test. Let's see how it works. Now on to the business at hand. Uh, we've been called to actually by one of our uh, service techs that is on site. He's already got it authorized by the customer. Uh, apparently, the driver ran over a very, very large concrete manhole and uh, has wedged it between the tires on the trailer and uh, broken a brake chamber off. So they're needing me to lift it because it's uh, holding the tires from moving. Uh, anyway, we're almost there. I'm sorry, I get distracted. I saw that house fire there. No fire trucks, no anything. Uh, just kind of surprised me. But Anyway, we're almost there. Uh, I'll get on site, evaluate the situation, and uh, be right back. And we are arriving on scene. There sits the truck and trailer. And there's one of our service trucks already on site. situation and see what we got. Hello. Hey. Right. I guess still in the truck. It's that left rear. I got it just about ready to knock off there. Yeah, it looks like really the only thing that's holding it is this right rear, isn't it? Yeah, about there. They're going to have to get a... Uh, we, were, we were afraid it might slide down and, yeah. and contact that pole. Well, with this ground wet, it may have. And then he ain't going to get very good traction. No. Gonna okay. I, mean, yep. I can have him drive for a few No, 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 no. I'll have him out in just a few minutes. It'll take longer to set up than it will to lift him out. Where are you going to do it uh, right here? Yeah, I'll just set up swing. right here. Swing right out. Over. If you want to grab the uh, uh, the frame hook chains, you know what those are yeah. on here? around and under these dead gum things all the time unfortunately these are not actually high voltage lines like i was working under yesterday yeah. i was working right outside of a main power sub station yesterday yeah. well, cool. do what kenny One of those communications. no these are still high voltage lines but they're not carrying as much voltage as what comes straight out of the substation substations over there uh, and the direct lines coming out of it are like these. Uh, yeah. okay. This is these are feed lines here. Those are main supply lines. Yeah. Well, yeah, I think I'll I'll think carrying some kind of oil. Oh yeah. Here I'll show you. That loop this yeah. one right here goes in the frame rail. The one on this side. Okay. Just go right through there, yep. And then on the low side, same thing. 
if we can. Except for the step. Yeah, we're gonna have to watch that step. Gentlemen, watch out behind you, please. Yes, sir. Once you get him over and toss that thing. Yes, sir. If there's any way of hooking on to that, you set it back over that manhole. What do you mean? The lid. Manhole. Cover. Oh, uh, well, we'll see if I can get get it. I don't know. You don't think that fork truck will pick it up? We can't get a good angle of it without getting in that ditch over yeah. there. And it, it'll, it's kind of, it will be pulling them out. Yeah, we'll, we'll see what we can do. One problem at a time. Yeah. Now just unlatch them. There you go. Where's your gloves? Uh, in the uh, truck. Yeah, it's a good idea. I might already have one. Like it either. Yeah. Don't like it. Man, what the hell? It's just a step. The storm might have could have done this, but that's a long way to move it. Yeah. It, oh yeah, it could have done it, but it would have had to been over there. Do what? I just need something simple. <laughs> All right. I'll verify it tucked in good. He's down in there pretty good, isn't it?
Yeah, I thought of a lot of stuff. This is the easiest stuff. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's the safest. We just got to watch those lines. Oh, yeah. We're still about 10, 15 feet under them. About another 15, 20 degrees and we're high low. I'm more worried about the Highline wires. I guess he's still in the truck. Driver? Oh, I thought that was him over there with the hard hat. No, it's the XL, uh, XL, XL. Oh, okay. Yeah, they, they want to get my cover back on there. Well, I can't say as I blame them. Uh, almost cleared. I got it hanging now. I'm just leveling it out. Do what? Love it. Yeah, I got it. I want to be sure to get him plenty away from that lid. Come on, cable, stay away from there. See, it shows my capacity and the load that I'm carrying right now. I've got about 16,000. That's what it shows. My capacity at this angle and that extension is 31. So I'm right at half. Right at half. Are you rolled all the way back? I'm rolled all the way to the rear. I think that's good enough. One more, one more push out and I'm gonna set him down. I guess I'll just pull him up here on the shoulder and finish that.
Hey, what's going How on? are you, friend? Man? How you been? Doing good, doing good. I see I see you back out here saving the day. Well, that thing would be uh, a real booger if somebody dropped off in there, wouldn't I it? No, right? No, right? That's what we was just to, that's what we was just debating on how we trying to figure out how to do it how we safely. That. Yeah. Well, what the problem's gonna be, no matter what you use, getting a hold of it. Getting a hold is getting a hold of it. Not, of not it. only that, but whenever it gets to a certain point, I'm afraid it's gonna want to yep. tilt down into tilt it. Down into it yeah. Does that manhole cover pop out? It should. Yeah. But the only problem there, if, if I could grab a hold through the manhole cover, yep. I could get it most of the way over. Probably get the chain out. And then I'd have to get my chain out, and then we might be able to wrap it and get it to rest right. away, or forklift, you know, bucket, whatever, or backhoe bucket. If you had a backhoe, that would be perfect. You just push it right over. But. Well, what we what we can do if we can if we can't do it any good tonight, we're gonna barricade it off with some big concrete barricade. Yes, sir. And then uh, we've got a bigger fork truck down there, but I don't want it out on the highway. Yes, sir. Uh, we can barricade it all off. They can bring a big berth up here tomorrow. Right. And probably, they could probably rig something, take that manhole cover off. Right. Rig something to, to uh, bring up and wrap around the forks on berth in. Does it pop out? Does the, the cover pop out or do you know? I don't know. Sure. Need something fried out there. It's hard to pop. I've got bars in the truck. Let me get some of my rigging in here. Just a second, I'll swing the boom over so we got some light on it. Somebody grab that other side, maybe. There you go. There we go. Oh. <laughs> I'm glad I had a hold of that. Uh, I had a hold. Yeah, I mean you could probably. Hook I can get it. I can get it most of the way. I'll have to strap it. I've, I've got some straps. I can strap it, and I can get it most of the way, and then we can uh, wrap around it and get a low line to finish moving it over. Okay. If that's what you guys need. It may not be perfect, but yeah. it'd be uh, better than leaving in a big exposed hole down here. Yeah.
Go ahead, sir. Slings. Here we go. Do your thing. But I gotta be able to get my straps out. Well, unless we if put a. Get it up here. I'm run that fork up underneath there and, and just hold the corner up where you get the strap. There out. you go. And then I'll back out. Later That'll work. Way. That'll work. I mean, maybe. Oh yeah, we can get it. Work, I mean, right, it'll work. But I can't do that as long as you pick it up. I, as long as I'm still here on this concrete, I can hold it up. Okay. Down. We need to put some cones up out here. I've got plenty. We, we can. You got you want to. Yeah, I've got some. I don't want anybody hitting us. Thank you, sir. Here we go.
Right now I'm just trying to get it back in the same oh. hole. We're pretty doggone close right there. Yeah. Hold on, let me get straight above it so that when I lift it up, we don't lose it. Okay. You get straight above it, and then all you'll have to do is put your fork under it. Yeah, because I'm just going there to catch it. That way, I won't drag it off whenever I come out. Good. That should give me room to get my stuff out. You let me know if you think it's too much on your forks. No, I, no, I'm, I'm, the barricades are going to pick them up. You got it? Okay. Uh, well, you're right out on the tip, though. I think I'm pretty good. Okay. Well, the truck's not any good without an operator, though. That's right. Just like a crane or a forklift or anything else. I'm going to ask you, my old lady's got a tuna state to pull. You reckon you could do it with that thing? I imagine I could. If we could find a piece small enough, small enough to tie, tie around the tooth. Drag it off. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, let me get my let me get my bar. That's not the bar one. Oh goodness. I ain't gonna get that one. That one's too heavy from here. This will work. I think it'll be all right. I think it's going to drop right down in it. There she goes. All right. All right, sir. Yes, sir. No problem. Oh. Need me to move cone? Uh, I got in here. All right. Thanks for your help, sir. Well, Is that positioned well enough for you, sir? Well, really, all it needs is dirt put back around it. And uh, they can get a hold of Mike Matthews' car and see if he wants anything else done to it as far as moving. Okay. Uh, all right. So they can do that tomorrow day. Okay. But I'm really free. Yes, sir. Not a problem. Not a problem at all. My name's Ron. Charlie Rich. Charlie, nice to meet you, sir. You want a business card or something from us, or? Sure. All right, let me set this down. Whoop. You go ahead, sir. I appreciate you helping out. Thank you very much. There you go, sir.
Again, my name's Ron. Ron, what's yes. your last name? Pratt, P-R-A-T-T, -T, Pratt. Where are you out of? You out of Cape? Just on the south side of, south end of Scott, or south end of Cape, Scott City. Oh, I know where you're at. Now. I've been coming up here long before this lot was ever built. Yeah. <laughs> Back over to six, 700 warehouses. And the good old days, as we call them. Yeah. Sometimes you look back and wonder what was so good about them. I don't know. I, you know I'm going on 69 years old now, and I still like that the old days better. People were more polite. Yep. Seemed like they had more common sense. Exactly. guys around here, you know, over the plant, I tell them about, I remember these roads out here when they were all gravel. Oh, yeah. They don't believe it. Oh, yeah. There wasn't any other houses out in here, the farmhouses. Well, where our shop was, or, or where it is right now, we were the last building on the road, and it was all gravel. Yeah. Now that road goes all the way out to the port, big two-lane highway right there. Oh, yeah. you know, when I was a kid, Trailer Park was not there. That was private property. Oh, was it? Yeah. Uh, I didn't know when it was established. It was 1958-59. This road here was gravel. Yes, sir. 177 was gravel. When the river got out, when I was a kid, we'd come over with my dad, us boys come over with dad and gig fish right out of there. Oh, yeah. 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 Ladies and gentlemen, that's it. I'm just going to fold everything back up and head back to the house. Trailer's out of danger. Service truck's going to go ahead and fix the uh, broken brake chamber. And uh, we got the lid back in place like the gentleman wanted. Everything worked out great. So, another night on the town. As always, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. Most importantly, God bless.